Alright. I make the square pyramid. First thing you got to notice, this is just the beginning. I'm going to make the next few layers of it. You make these squares, but it does have a bowed bottom. So if you want a perfect square, you're not going to get it. That's this, this tutorial makes this. All right, and it comes up to a point. And here it all fits nicely. As you get close to the point, it wants to skin. It, like, it wants to come off like that. All right, that's a problem of this method, but it did, I mean it works, but it, it's a bit dodgy at the top. All right, so what you do, you got two kinds of squares to begin with. That one and that one. And the last one was was this. You can see the middle. I've left the middle one out, so you can see that's the centre. It's got eight balls in it. That's here. So what you do? Take your take your eight ring. That you pinch it and pinch it, double pinch it. Make one of them. You take a line. Okay, now you get it so it's gonna. If it hangs, it hangs like, like that, and you can, then you fold it back this way. All right, and then keep folding it all the way around. What you're making is a concentric ring. Well, concentric squares and analogous to concentric circles. All right, now I could open that up, but it wouldn't stay square, so I'm not going to just yet. Do it again, but this time you go around the other way. All right, and if you start like that, you can keep it; just stays there better. That's the only reason to do it like that. Go around like that, making sure you keep the square. All right, now the, the bigger the base of the pyramid, the better this will. Be, the easier it'll be to keep it good. It won't work with a small pyramid, it'll just immediately skin and um, then be problematic. Okay, so now I'll leave that there. You put that in, uh, oh, it's connected the wrong way, it's got to connect the other way. Alright, turn it over. Oh, oh, what have I done? Oh no, I've made the wrong sort, okay. That's how you make the sec the other sort. Right, so I'm still going to need that in a minute. It's going to have to be smaller, which is why I disassembled it. You start with a, the next one. I'm going to start with a two ring. That's the other sort of square. Right. I'm going to need three rows for this square. You keep track of the rows. You decrease by one row each time. Fairly obviously. Alright, so I just made concentric squares. So the inner square, the first row, and then the other row around the other way. Yeah, try to get it to sit back on. It's got to sit like that. And then you just fold it and drop it on. Make sure it goes down. It's got to it's got to curve down a bit. If you don't let it curve down, it'll skin straight away. And that was the one I just made. I took the outside row off that. Put that on. Lay it on, and at that point you could open that. You know, just put your fingernail into it. I'm not going to. And now we need another one based on a square, like this. So, so it's based on that centre square. Start with a square. That's how the bottom looks. I've run out of balls. I'm going to just scavenge some out, out of the bottom here. It actually looks quite effective if you do it. Okay. Yeah, nice looking thing in the bottom. Now the next one's just going to be an eight ring, a single square. Like that. At this point you sort of have to open it. Just leave it for a minute. Now this is the part, it's not going to sit very flat right now. But it'll be better than... Um, 
Yeah, it wants to bow out. That's the edge edge effects. Um, I haven't found anything you can do about that. So the top looks a tiny bit wonky. You can sort of see it bulging a bit there. The more you squeeze it together, the more it seems to spread downwards. It's probably not worth squeezing it together. But there's your square pyramid. There's a um, funny shape in the bottom.